This is the seminar, everything you wanted to know about working anywhere and living a lifestyle of freedom, choice, and totally on your terms. And hasn't this last couple of years shown us that we really do need to start living on our terms, 100%. Today, I'm going to show you how you can make the shift from working from home, struggling to make money online, feeling you are stretched way too thin with the increase of energy costs, confused as to what is the best strategy to use to make your business and your life hugely successful, to simplify what you are currently doing, make more profits in your business, expand your opportunities, and do that all from anywhere you want to. Now, I want to tell you about a special little bonus I've got for you before we even really get started. So I've actually created a guide, seven steps to break free without breaking the bank. Now, it's a guide for aspiring digital nomads and dreamers. And there's a whole bonus section on living life in exotic locations for absolutely free or very little cost. Now, staying with me till the end means that you get that free gift. If you've already got it, by the way, I do have something else for you. So just let me know in the chat. If you've already got it, say, yes, have it. And then I'll get something else to you. That's equally as good. All right, now I'm going to ask you to turn off all of your distractions. For the UK, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. For, for those of you in Australia, it's 7 o'clock at night and it's easy to get distracted. So I would love it if you would turn off your mobile phones or just put them over to one side, unless, of course, you want to share the fact that you are on this webinar with me today to find out where you can live anywhere in the world or how you can live anywhere in the world. So that's the only reason I want you touching your phones right now is just to share this amazing seminar with anybody that you feel would love to learn more about it. OK, so we're going to talk about how to create passive income in your business. And we're going to do that as a little kind of kind of little game, as it were, just to get things started. It's a break in the ice type of situation. And. What we're going to do is we're going to do a five minute work away brainstorm. So this is your opportunity to actually get your pens, get your paper, and you're going to do some work straight away because this is not all about me. This is about you actually feeling like you've got something done at the end of this. So think about your current business. If you have a business, if you don't have a business, think about what your expertise is and what sort of business you would like to run. Now, just grab a piece of paper and pen, or if you've got to hand some post-it notes and a pen, and then you want to set a timer for five minutes. Now, we're not going to do this in reality, but when you're off this seminar, you can actually set the timer for five minutes and play some banging music or play, play something that really kind of inspires you, motivates you, gets you going. And then on each of those post-it notes or on your piece of paper, I want you to write down every idea that pops in your head about how you could either make a passive, semi-passive or extra income in your business. And I don't mean using up extra time, but how could you make your business a business that when you wake up in your exotic locations, you can go and check your phone and you'll find out that you've actually got orders coming through. What is it that you could possibly do? Some of you may already be doing it. So put that down actually in the chat, some of those ideas in the chat for me. And I will actually come back and see what your thoughts are on this first of all. So let's actually see. Hi, Prem. Lovely to see you, my darling. Lovely to see. I'm glad you could make it. All right, so let's see what ideas you've got about how you can develop your current business into some pet passive income streams. All right, and I know that some of you here don't have a business. If you did have a business, what do you think you would love to do that would bring in that extra income? Okay, little yellow activator, not sure what that is, Vicky. And Life Vantage, that's network marketing, perfect. Okay, that's great. All right, hi, Margaret, lovely to see you. Hi, Renata, lovely to see you as well. 
and Sophia. Oh, super to see you. Thank you for coming on and um, finding out what this is all about. All right. Sell, sell e-books, merchandise, notebooks and diaries. Absolutely. Is that something that you already do, Renata? I'd love to know. Okay. Access consciousness, the bars. All right. So uh, that's Vicky Access Consciousness. I have heard of that. Um, put up evergreen courses on my website and market my own Oracle deck on Amazon. Kim, yes, definitely, definitely evergreen courses. It's definitely the way to go or one of the ways to go. Okay. Any, uh, any other ideas that you've got as we go through? Just let me know what those ideas are because it's always interesting to find out where you're at and where your mind is at as well. So what I've done is I've actually put down a few ideas for you here as well. So if you wanted to say, if you already had a business and you wanted to create some passive income streams, and I'm not gonna tell you that these are necessarily easy and they certainly don't happen overnight and you do have to work on them. And maybe some of you are already there. The truth is that you will need to work on these, but you will get there eventually. And it could take anything between three months to a year, but you should expect to be making some sort of passive income within 12 months of starting. You know, if you're actually starting right from the beginning, you haven't done anything, it should take you about 12 months. So some of the things that were already mentioned were to create a course. Now, when you create a course, you can actually do launches of that course. And then you can sell that course as what we call evergreen. For those of you that don't know, it's basically enabling that course to be advertised, a bit like a product in a shop. You would advertise that product and people come and purchase it without you even being there. The course is already set up, they log in, and then they actually learn from you. You could set up a membership site. So a similar kind of thing where people join the membership and then they actually pay a monthly amount and they, they actually get your expertise and your learning, which could have already been set up. And you can put an element in there which creates a semi-passive element where you will show up, say, once a month. Maybe you could monetize a blog. And again, if you haven't actually set up a blog, this is something that I teach. And you can actually look at setting up a blog and monetizing it in about a 12-month period. And you can monetize that in multiple ways. You could sell your own products from your blog. You could have affiliate links on your blog. You could actually use the space as advertising for other people. And people make extraordinary amounts of money using blogs. You could be sponsored on your blog as well. So there are many ways that you can monetize it. <coughs> you can set up an online shop. So if you already have a range of products, and I'm thinking, you know, uh, one of you mentioned about, I think it was, I can't think who it was now. I'm sorry, I'll have to check in a second. But um, you could set up a shop and actually in that shop, you could sell physical products, but you could also sell digital products. You could sell your own products. You could actually sell products from Amazon. You could sell products for other people as well. That would be along the lines of affiliate marketing and your own product service as well. You could set up an agency. So if you have expertise in a particular area, you could actually form some sort of agency where you're not the only one that's actually delivering the information, but you've actually got other people coming in, you're outsourcing the work and they can deliver that information. All right, just bear with me a sec. Can you just jot down the names of the people that are wrong for me and then let me have that? Okay, that would be awesome. Now, the reason I'm asking Rock, because Rock is my right-hand man, let me tell you, he actually really helps me a lot. I love to see who's with me here as well, what your businesses are and what your dreams are, because then I can actually make it real for all of you that are on here. So we talk about freelance jobs. I know that some of you don't have a business right now. Setting up a business can be a lot of hard work and take quite a time. And if you were to set up an offline business, you know, some of you might remember that old saying, it takes three years to make a profit. Now, I don't believe that's strictly true. I made a profit within five weeks of my first offline business, uh, but I think that was a bit unique, a bit of a one-off. <clears throat> However, you could look at providing your services as a freelancer. You could learn how to be a social media manager and become a social media manager. 
you could become a virtual assistant. So if say your job is already in administration, you could provide that service actually online. And these jobs, by the way, are in high demand. People like me, we need people like you, virtual assistants, social media managers, consultants. You could be a consultant, whatever your ex area of expertise is. Maybe you love photography. You could be a photographer and actually sell your photographs. There are plenty of sites that will enable you to sell your photographs. You could become a reader for someone like Audacity. So you could actually read books. You could do audios and you can actually get paid anything between, say, $300 to $500 an hour just for actually reading. That's it. You'll be amazed. There are so many websites out there. Again, this is all information I'll share with you. And you can become a network marketer. Now, network marketing is a phenomenal business model. Um, it's not something that I do, but it is, it's a phenomenal business model where you can eventually, after putting in a lot of hard work, you can eventually create passive income out of that as well. So there are lots of things. And this is just scratching the surface. So this is just a few ideas. Now, of course, you've all come on to this webinar for a reason. And one of the reasons could be that you are in the right place if you are motivated to leave behind the nine to five mentality. Now, whether you're in a job already, you might be a nine to five job or working shifts, or you may have your own business. But what often happens to online business owners or entrepreneurs is that they end up working like 12 hours a day. They feel that they've got to do everything. They feel that they've got to be there all the time. And then they realize that they've actually just created their own their own nine to five job essentially, where they're working so many hours and they're being paid probably less than you would have done when you were in your own job. But you do have the autonomy of actually making your own decisions. Okay, so you wanna do more of what you love with who you love. Now, reason number two is that you would really love to work anywhere and explore new countries. And you've kind of been thinking about this, but you haven't done anything about it yet. You want to feel that life is an adventure. And you know, this is something that's close to my heart. I've always had that desire to feel that life is a constant adventure. It could be reason number three, that you want to feel secure in the knowledge that you will create enough income to support your working anywhere and traveling ambitions, and you want to do that in style. And whatever that style means to you, it could be backpacking, it could be um, cat using a camper van, it could be staying in luxury hotels or luxury accommodation. You know, your level of style is your level of style. So share with me in the chat, what is your reason? And of course, it could be a bit of all three. But reason number one, you're motiva motivated to leave behind that nine to five mentality. Reason number two, you'd really love to work anywhere and have and treat life as a, an adventure. Reason number three, you want to feel secure in the knowledge that you'll create enough income to support those dreams and those ambitions. So I'm going to come back to the chat and actually see there is a little bit of a delay going on. So I will come and have a look. All right, so we've got, we've got, duh, 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 duh. all right, Kim, Tasmania, I'm an online business owner, love business manager, love it. Definitely Evergreen Courses, I love that as well. So that's the previous answer. Right, Scott, all three, Michelle, number two, all three, Vicky, number three, Kim, set two, Margaret, three, Prem, three, Renata, all three, but especially two and three. I love it. Number one and two and three are all appealing, Kim. Wonderful. I love it. I love it. Thank you for your feedback. And thank you for actually being here with me and paying attention. So there'll be plenty of opportunity. I'll be asking you questions. All right, as we go through. So now that you've answered those, I will come back to my presentation. All right, now the, the important thing about this is whatever your reason, and I really believe this, we all have reasons for doing something. We all have reasons to have our own dreams. It's a kind of like, it's a bit like our purpose. You know, what is your why? What gets you up in the morning? And we are all so different. Whatever your reason, it is true for you. And I 100% support you in whatever those reasons are for you. Now, I'm just going to indulge in a set for a second and 
let you know about my lifestyle. It is quite an alternative life, lifestyle. It's very different from most people. And actually, this is what inspired me to run this business, because I was telling people about all of the different stories that I had about my travels and all of the different things that I would encounter, like um, crazy funerals in Bali, ghost towns in Italy, you know, just the most extraordinary things that you would come across when you're traveling. So these are just a few of the I would normally call them holiday snaps, but they're my lifestyle snaps, literally lifestyle snaps. You can see there's me with a laptop on, on a beach called White Sandy Beach in Bali. You can see there's me giving you the love sign that's in Nepal. Uh, yeah, Nepal, Kathmandu. You can see me doing yoga again in Bali. And then you can see me and my lovely rock. Rock actually shares this life with me now. I've been doing it for nine years. Rock and I have been together for three and a half years. And when we met each other, we both had a desire to travel and travel the world, see as much as we possibly could. So we basically decided to sell everything up in Australia. We were, we were living in one of the most extraordinary parts of Australia in Noosa. People call it paradise. It really is paradise. And we decided to go traveling and that's exactly what we did rock loves traveling just as much as i do we get to see amazing countries there's a few pictures of us there in germany in italy and in the uk and he supports supports this lifestyle 100 percent. i couldn't have wished for a better partner to actually share this with so that's my indulgence over and done with the important thing is I want you to know that you are actually in safe hands today. I've been in business for over, it says there for 30 years, but it's over 30 years. I've actually run businesses from network marketing companies and getting to the highest ranks. And I've actually run my own multi-million pound IT training company. I then went on to run a social media marketing company, a webinar presentation company. And then I, in between there, somewhere along the line, I also became a yoga teacher, a healer, an NLP master practitioner, and a hypnotherapist. So I've got a variety of skills in my tool bag of skills. So that's really me saying, you're in safe hands. I've got your back. I'll always be supporting you and looking out for you. Now, in my business, most of my revenue comes from my own training programs now. And one of you actually said that you would love to have evergreen courses. I've got evergreen courses. They actually go off and they sell. So that's some of my passive and semi-passive income. I actually never work on projects that I feel exhausted by or will take up too much of my time. There are certain things that after being in business for 32 years, you really get a lot of self-awareness. Things think you get to know what you love and what you don't love. And I will never do anything that I don't love. I will never work with people that I don't love working with as well. And I think that that's really important because what we do is we want to be of service. Yes, of course, we want to be of service. But the most important person that you can be of service to is yourself. You know, be of service to yourself when you actually um, create an environment where you are taking care of your own needs, then you can serve people even more. And in fact, I liken this to when we're on the aeroplane, you know how they do their whole, whole spiel about um, look at the lights, you know, if there's an emergency, look at the lights on the floor, the emergency exits are here, here and here. And then they say, put your seatbelt on. They say about the oxygen mask coming down. And as that oxygen mask comes down, they say to put that oxygen mask on yourself first before you put that on anybody else. And as mums or parents, we absolutely desperately would want to put it onto our children first. But we have to have that air that we breathe first before we can save anybody else. So it's important to take care of ourselves. I also get to set my own hours and you know, honestly, sometimes I can work lots of hours, but it's my choice. And then other times I don't work at all. I take time off. We go off and explore. We have adventures. And literally one of those adventures was to find a ghost town. And I don't mean loads of spirits. I mean, it was completely abandoned town. And we went to explore. There were homes that we looked in. There were there was still clothes in the homes and it was because the, the place was flooded. It's an extraordinary place. I'll tell you that story when you work with me. All right. 
So can you imagine for a moment what it would feel like to have a business that gave you freedom to run it at any location you choose for however long you choose? And I would love to know in the chat if everything was in place, if all your ducks were in a line, where would you choose to go to if you could do that right now? Where would you go and work if you could do that right now? All right. Now, living a laptop lifestyle is liberating. <clears throat> and quite frankly, it is completely life changing. <clears throat> and it's not for everyone. It's not for the faint hearted, you know, and it's not and it, ha it can be done on your terms. So just because I live a life of traveling and living in different locations, and in fact, I've traveled for the last nine years, I've visited 14 different countries, that is not for everybody. But what you can do is you can do it on your own terms. So it might be one week out of every month, it might be three months out of the year, and then the rest of the time spent in your home country. It might be a half a year in your home country, half a year in another country. It might be that you do want to pack everything up and go traveling. So again, it's all on your terms. So the seatbelt sign is on, the table trays are up, the seat is in the upright position. Let's now take a journey together. Now, what's your plan? The first stage that we're going to cover, phase one, is the in-flight entertainment. This is your visualization of your own journey, your own dreams, your own aspirations, your, whether it's the mountains or whether it's the beach or whether it's the city. What's your G dream? Visualize it. That's what we're going to do. Then we're going to have a stopover. We're going to talk about your online business, how that stopover. You can be working while you're in the airport. You can be sending out those social media posts. So what is your online business that's going to support you in your dreams and desires? Now look at the five star accommodation, how it's possible to live for free. And you might think, well, that's not possible. Yes, it is possible. I've been doing it for nine years and I'm going to tell you exactly how I make that a possibility. Then we're going to do a visa check. So we've landed. We've landed in our destination. We now need to get our visas checked. So how do you stay longer in some of those destinations? I've got so many secrets up my sleeve and I can't wait to share them with you. I don't want to give away too much, though, but I will give you lots. And then finally, what your support network is. This is a whole different way of being. So what is your support network? How you can work with me? And I'm going to do a live Q&A. By the way, you can ask any questions as you go along. All right. Do you think you could do me a favor, Rock, and write those in pen? Because I can't see without my glasses on. <laughs> that would be lovely. Thank you. Rock's actually feeding me some of your questions and your comments. Um, so, so Prem, you're awesome. Thank you, my darling. Um, Kim, 100% agree. Michelle, what an amazing lifestyle. Yes, and it can be yours too. And I'm going to be delving into to what can stop you. Um, it's fab. Fab, I love it. Great. Um, so we've got New Zealand in the house. Oh, these are the places you want to go to. Right. So, Sunet, you want to go to New Zealand, um, Canada. Michelle, Thailand. Oh, I had a lovely time in Thailand, by the way. Absolutely. I went to an island called Koh Lanta. Koh Lanta means the happy island. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, Europe, Prem Europe. I love that. I'm going to tell you how you can stay in Europe longer. Um, now, I think, I'm not sure what that says. Iceland, Kim. Uh, Vicky, everywhere. I love that. Italy. Yes. Renata, Italy, love that. Margaret, um, oh, do you know what? I can't read that, Rock. I honestly can't read. It's because it's in pencil. I need she it in pencil. Change every month. Change every month. Oh, yes, change every month. That's cool. I love that. I absolutely love that. All right. So, so I call, I actually, people say to me, well, where do you live? And I actually use the term non locational. And it is because I travel around. And I could be in one place for, say, six months, and then another place for three months, another place for a month. I don't like to move around too frequently because 
because one of the things that you've got to realize about moving around is that you've got to pack everything up. So you've got that day of packing and then you've got a day of unpacking and settling in to your new environment. And you have to do that at both ends of leaving somewhere. So just bear that in mind. So you wouldn't want to do it every week, for instance. You wouldn't want to move constantly every single week. Um, but that, you know, that's that's possible. And that's only my opinion, of course. So I do say to people, I'm non-locational. And they say, well, what does that mean? And I say, well, I'm a digital nomad. Now, nomad sort of implies maybe schlepping around with holes in your shoes uh, backpack on your back, dumpster diving, you know, begging and that sort of thing. But it's not at all. We have this new phenomenon that's happening. And this is why I'm excited. Becoming a digital nomad really means becoming a pioneer. This is a way of working that would have been completely unthinkable even 15 years ago. When I, when I first started my online business, I wouldn't have even thought about traveling around. But now, thanks to the available technology, there's no reason that we can't take our laptops and start traveling around the world. It's taken a while for the world to catch up though. However, have you noticed, this pandemic has actually opened our eyes to the possibility. Now, the pandemic wasn't great. We all got locked down wherever we were. And you can imagine, for me, being a digital nomad and non-locational and rock, there was this sense of panic. Crikey, what do we do? Where do we go? We can't even get back into our own country. We couldn't get back to Australia. They weren't letting people back in. So, of course, these are things that, that we have to deal with, that we have to not panic about, that we have to find a solution for. And I'll, I'll tell you, I'll share the solution with you in a moment. But basically, what it did is it showed us all we don't have to work in an office we don't have to get on the train, the tube, the buses, sit in traffic. We can work from our homes. Now, wait a minute. If I can work from my home, why don't I make my home somewhere else? Even if that's a temporary home, I could actually go and visit wherever I wanted to. Now that the borders are opening, now that it's got easier to actually visit many different countries. So now, just to give you an update, Many, many countries, not all of them, by the way, but most of them, you don't have to be vaccinated. If you are vaccinated, it doesn't make any difference. There is no quarantine. There's no isolation. There's no testing going in, going out or while you're there. So many of the countries have totally released all of those restrictions that we had before. I even heard this week America has opened its doors as well. Now, I do have to look into the detail of that because sometimes they will put slight restrictions on. But most of the countries that we would want to visit don't have any restrictions whatsoever. Now, many of us still work in nine to five jobs in stuffy offices, feeling stressed and far too exhausted at the end of the day to do anything worthwhile with our lives. All right. So Renate likes the idea of staying somewhere for three to six months and moving on. I love that. I love that. And it's all very, very possible. And there's many ways in which you can do that. And Kim, I love my virtual office. I can take it with me anywhere. Absolutely. It is. It's just like you have a kit and I'll, I will share, you know, what your kit, what your kit comprises of. But you have a kit of stuff that you can literally pack up and take anywhere you want to. All right, so let's get on to part one. This is your in-flight entertainment. And I think that you're already, you know, imagining where you could go, how you could do that, what possibilities are there. And even those of you that don't have a business now, I'm hoping that I've given you some glimmer of hope that there is a way out of your nine to five jobs. And I always, I always, always say, start with the end in mind. So don't worry about the how to yet just have that dream dream that it's a possibility so start with the end in mind all right so we talked about some of these destinations new zealand start with thinking about where in new zealand you would love to be would you love to be in the city would you love to be in auckland would you love to be on the coast canada where would you like to be would you like to be in the mountains or at the lakes 
<clears throat> what are your choices? Thailand. Do you want to be in Bangkok, the craziness of the city? Or do you want to be in one of the beautiful islands? Um, Koh Phanang. Um, some of the amazing, more spiritual places that you could visit, for instance. <clears throat> Europe. Europe is so easy to travel around right now. We've literally driven through Europe. Um, you can drive from one country to another country to another country. Very, very easy. Visualize also how often you want to travel and work away. So you've already written down some of your ideas. We've got where you want to go and you've got the time that you want to spend as well. Now, let's actually be realistic. What could be stopping you? It's almost like that sort of scratching moment on a vinyl, you know, that <laughs> scratching moment where it's all coming to a stop or you're halting at the traffic lights. Okay, what, what could actually stop you? Because it's great to dream. All right, share with me in the chat what, if anything, do you think could stand in your way of working anywhere you choose when you choose? And just be realistic, you know, let's actually face the issues that could come up. And sometimes, not always, sometimes it could be just a mindset issue, which we talk about. It could be something very, very practical that we need to discuss as well. And then we'll look at how you can overcome that. So if you put that in the chat, that would be awesome for me to know exactly what could stop you so here are some of the ideas rock's writing those down for me so i'm going to be able to talk about those <clears throat> now let's be realistic you might be married with kids and your partner may not have the same desires that you do maybe you've got children and maybe they're tiny little dots and you wouldn't want to give them that upheaval of moving around maybe they're of a school age and you don't want to take them out of school and by the way i'm not suggesting that you do if that's not what you want maybe you ha do have a nine to five job already and so you're committed to that nine to five job maybe you've got a business already that you feel that you've got to be there 24 7 for maybe you've got aging parents or you've got some people that you have to be a carer for and you really can't, you don't feel that you can leave them. Maybe you don't even have enough funds. So these are all very realistic reasons of why you may not be able to do this. But I'm going to actually share with you some of the ways in which you could perhaps overcome some of these reasons. So I'm just going to get a note from Rock because I want to see what you've come up with. He's frantically writing away there in the background. <laughs> I'm going to come and have a look at your chat as well. Oh, here we are. <clears throat> awesome. All right. So you've got, so we've got Michelle, two kids at school. One of the reasons I put down there already. Okay. Scott, the friends that you have. Yeah, that's a good reason. You don't want to leave your friends. Okay. Margaret, um, internet connection. Okay, okay, I hadn't thought of that one, but that's actually a good reason. Okay, friends and family. Yep, absolutely. And Renate, selling selling my belongings. All right, so great. These are all things that could stop you. So let's actually talk about some of these in a bit more detail. So just what if you could actually fit your new lifestyle around the family? So what I mean by that is that you can plan your travels actually around your friends and family uh, requirements. So you want to be around for your family, you want to be there for your friends, and particularly if you have children. Now, what you could do is at the beginning, if your children are younger, you might want to do more traveling and working in your home country. So for instance, a way of doing that would be to utilize the school holidays. So instead of just going away on your two week vacation you could actually go on lots of smaller trips now that could be in your home country or a little bit closer so that you're not spending like 24 hours flying somewhere that said if you did spend 24 hours i would definitely stay for a month anywhere um, and then you can take your work with you now a lot of the places we we talked about um 
internet connection as well. This is a criteria that you do need to consider is the internet connection. Do you have a good internet connection? And actually, I would always suggest that you get a phone that you can actually have changeable SIMs in because whatever country you're in, you can change that SIM according to the country that you're in. And of course, I wouldn't suggest that you go to uh, the jungles of Borneo because it's highly unlikely that you've got good internet connection. So if you do want to combine work and pleasure, then of course you do have to consider that. But there are there is a lot of support network. I'm going to tell you something later. I'm, I'm nearly, nearly said it, but I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm going to tell you something later that will actually wipe that idea out of your mind completely. All right, so it might be that you've got a nine to five job. Now, if you work from home, um, if you work from home, you might have actually sort of put yourself in that position of having to, having a nine to five job. But there's no reason why you couldn't take your home office on the road with you. So literally pack up your laptop, stick it in a stick it in a suitcase and off you go. If you have a nine to five job that doesn't require you to be in the office and you are working from home, there are many bosses that would be willing to listen to the possibility of you running that job from any other location. And I actually have uh, templated um, documents, letters that you can write to them and how you can actually have that meeting because you want to actually suggest to them that your work won't change. You'll still be providing the same level of service that you were before. And if you have a business, it's just a question of organizing your work better finding locations that have good Wi-Fi. So I did think about it. I thought to myself, no, I didn't think about that, but I must have done when I was putting my presentation together. You would ch choose very supportive venues. And there are places now that have been set up to support travelers and digital nomads and remote workers. For instance, I was speaking to a lady who's got a, a beautiful place in Italy. So she has actually set it up so that she can support um, digital nomads and go to somewhere like uh, Bali or Thailand, the Wi-Fi connection is actually better than you think it is. Um, sometimes you might have some glitches, but you can go to coffee shops that are specifically set up for remote workers. They, are, they have everything available to you, as long as you obviously pay for your coffees and lunch and, and your snacks and what have you, they are more than happy for you to sit there. OK, you want to choose systems that all your staff can adhere to. So it's a case of if you are in business already, I teach you how to actually get super, super organized, having systems in place that are automated that will allow you that free time to actually get on the road. And of course, a big one is shorter funds. And there are many possibilities. So we talked about selling up your belongings all right so renata the the thing about selling up your belongings is it depends on what your dream is if you want to do this permanently then yeah this is something that you might want to consider like i say it's not for everybody so you might just want to rent out your house a fully furnished property and then put all of your personal belongings into storage that could be an option now it could be that you just sell the things that you won't be taking and i'm just going to give you again a quick quick story about this I owned a six bedroom house with a garage. I owned two cars. One of the rooms in my house was dedicated to shoes. Seriously. I had that lifestyle of keeping up with the Joneses. I wanted to be seen to have that flash car, the flash shoes, the designer uh, clothes, all that sort of thing. That is not me anymore. I went on a journey and I sold my handmade French bed, I sold my shoes, I sold my designer clothes. I actually only kept things that were of an emotional attachment to me, it, my, my very, very personal belongings. I ended up over time, and it didn't happen overnight, but I ended up over time literally traveling with two suitcases and hand luggage. It has expanded a little bit since then to a juicer and a coffee machine. And those are the two important things we take with us. I have a diva light. I've got my laptop. I've got an extra screen, my mic. That's my business. 
And I am unencumbered by those materialistic things. Now, I know that some of you say, well, I've got a mortgage. I've been working so hard for this. It, that's great. That honestly is great. But actually use that asset. Use it now to benefit you. You, I rented out my six bedroom property. I actually created it into a multiple rented accommodation. So I rented out six of those rooms um, for a while and then I sold the property. So there are things that you can do. And again, we are all different. We all have different stories. We all want a different journey. I'm not saying my way fits all. This is not a cookie cutter kind of situation. But it is possible for you to create those multiple streams of income. So if you actually have a business already, you may want to add an extra something in there that's not reliant on you being there. And you want to create those passive streams of income. And again, if you have a job, you could actually set up a side gig that enables you to start funding your journey. But it doesn't have to be that expensive. So I'll come on to that in a minute. So I'm just looking at these notes. All right. So you've got Kim caring for your aging parents. Absolutely right. And I think that you would actually fit into that idea of going away for smaller trips so that you can get some respite anyway. And actually having those smaller trips until such a such a time that you are more free to take longer trips. Um, so it's important that we do take care of our family and our family's needs. But we can actually talk to them and get them to buy into the idea of you having these adventures. OK, so Prem on school holidays, traveling becoming expensive. OK, well, I, Prem, I'm going to tell you something that is going to blow your mind a little bit later about the expense of something. Now, I want you to stop thinking about the normal holidays that you would take. So a normal holiday may be that you go to TUI, you book a package holiday, you get your flight, you go to your destination, you lay next to the pool, the kids are all taken care of because they're going into the nursery part of it and you're able to relax. This is a whole different ball game. This is a different situation. And I'm gonna tell you how you can educate your children along the way as well. So let's go on to part two. Are you exchanging time for money in your business? Are you thinking about creative, creating that passive income? And I also said, look at multiple streams of income and remote jobs that you can do. So again, in your, those of you that are in business, can you just let me know if you have in your business any additional streams of income or you have a passive stream of income? Let me know if you've reached that stage yet. I would be really interested. While I'm waiting for those to come through, I'm going to carry on. OK, so I've just said there, share with me in the chat your business, what your business is. You've already done that. But I want to I want to find out if you've got any additional streams of income. Or what streams of income you could create from what you already know and do. Um, because this is this is the way that you're going to support your lifestyle by design. So there's semi semi or passive income. So one of the things that we talk about on the membership is that we look at creating a course from your expertise. And honestly, what we do is we dive in to what your expertise is and we can create a course out of that. And it doesn't have to be um, teaching people online business. It could be teaching people how to crochet. It could be teaching people how to bake cakes. It might be to teach people how to lose weight. It might be teaching people how to be more healthy. So there's a lot of courses that you can create. Now, one of my qualifications is that I have a qualification in teaching adults how to teach. So we've got a lot of people that are online these days that run online courses, but they're absolutely rubbish at actually teaching because they don't take into account all the different learning modalities that people have. They don't take into account how to structure their course. And this is something that is included in the membership. Now, we also look at setting up a membership so that you've always got that regular monthly income coming in. The one thing about selling courses is that you either have to do a launch once a month, once a quarter or once a year, which brings in a big cash flow of income. 
But another way of doing that is that you could attach on the end of it a membership, which then gives you a regular monthly stream of income so that you know that if you've got X amount of people in your membership, that's how much money you're going to get every single month. So you're totally supported. It's like you're creating your own salary. You're totally supported. All right, let's take a quick sip. Now, I want to talk to you quickly about remote working. One of the things that um, a lot of the digital nomads do, and this is what makes their life a possibility, is that they do remote working. Now, um, your remote working <clears throat> can be negotiated on your terms again. So you could be a freelancer. And there are lots of websites that actually provide um, freelancing opportunities. So whether that is uh, copywriting, whether that is um, setting up a blog for someone, creating a website, um, doing social media posts, there are many, many freelance jobs that are actually available. And again, it can be totally on your terms. You put in a bid for the job and then you get the freelancing work. So I'm just having a look here. Um, passion, passion income and multiple income strategy, a passive and multiple income strategy. That's um, Michelle, Margaret, nothing coming than rent. Okay, Renata, next building my first course good 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 okay kim working on multiple streams i love that now the one thing i want to tell you about working on multiple streams is that again as entrepreneurs what we tend to do is we tend to try and do lots of different things so what i do is i teach you how to be very strategic about this so that you don't become overwhelmed and that's so important when you when you become overwhelmed it's you end up putting yourself into a state of procrastination because you get your mind goes into blind panic and you can't think of what's next so what i'm very much about is taking that overwhelm away from you and we actually work on a strategy okay two passive one active love that Love that, Scott. Um, Sevda, just joined. Hi, lovely to see you, my darling. All right, so some of the remote working possibilities. You could become a virtual assist assistant. Now, there, there are plenty. There are so many coaches, consultants, mentors out there that need a virtual assistant. And as a virtual assistant, you could be charging anything from $15 to $30 an hour for providing your services. So you could actually set again your terms, work say four hours a day, and the rest of the time you just spend doing adventures, traveling. You could become a coach, so whatever your expertise is, you could actually teach others to do it. You could teach yoga, fitness, health. You could become an affiliate marketer. So affiliate marketing is a whole whole ball game. Um, and again, it doesn't switch on overnight. You've got to do a lot of marketing with that. But it's certainly something that you could consider. You could become a writer. So you could write for people. If you're very good at writing, you could become a copywriter for others. You could become a regular blogger, which means that you could be sponsored. Um, you could become an influencer with your website. You could become an influencer even with your travels, by the way. Photography. Anyone here love photography? I love photography. I'm not a photographer, but we do actually sell some of our photographs. We've got them up on sites that actually then they get bought. So you sell your photography as stock images. You could do odd jobs. So wherever you go, you could actually offer your services as an odd jobber. And again, there are plenty of sites that you can find those odd jobs on. You could become a language teacher. And quite often as a language teacher, you don't even have to know what the other language is, just whatever your native language is, you could teach. And again, that can be done in the schools or it can be done remotely. You could become a speaker. So you could become an online speaker. You could become a travel planner. After you've been doing this for years and years, you could actually organize other people's travel plans. And of course, we have some network marketers in the house today. Network marketing is something that you can literally do from anywhere in the world. 
All right. So let's actually have a look at this. Kim, is it better to have a more expensive course or several less expensive ones? All right. So the answer to that is if you are just starting out with providing courses, my suggestion is to actually have three courses. One is a low cost course, two is a mid range course, and three is what we call your signature course. Your signature course, you would only promote once a quarter um, maximum, and once a year as a minimum. The other courses you can promote consistently and on a say monthly basis. So you want those three courses. This is where we get you very, very organized and very strategic about it. Now, when your signature course really starts to sell, let's say that you're selling it at two grand, five grand um, for that. When that starts to sell, you can start dropping the other smaller courses or you just leave them as evergreen courses, which is what I would suggest that you do because you always want those multiple streams of income. All right, now let's talk about free accommodation. Lovely question, by the way, Kim. I love that question. Okay, Sevda, I have been watching. Yes, love photography, speaker and wedding planner. Absolutely. I I actually know um, some wedding planners that can perfectly arrange weddings from wherever they are and have a team on hand, you know, for that wedding um, and send them off to set up the marquee and the tables and everything. In fact, there was a wedding just up the road the other day and that's exactly what they were doing. All right, so let's talk about free accommodation now. Some of the pictures that I showed you earlier were of me traveling and I've actually been living in other people's homes for the last nine years. Now, a bit like one of those birds. What are those birds that live in other people's nests? Is it the it's not the it's not the cuckoo, is it? Is it the magpie? No, I can't think one of the there's a bird that actually ends up uh, living in other people's nests. I'm a bit like that, really. I go and live in other people's homes. So I do what we call house sitting. There is also the opportunity to volunteer. Now, when you're volunteering, it means that you actually get to spend time with a lot of other volunteers. But of course, all of your accommodation is paid for. There's something called working away, which I'll explain to you as well. And this might be for you, Prem, is house swaps. So this is just a, a few pictures of some of the beautiful homes that I've stayed in. Um, you've got some pictures of beautiful large homes in France, in the UK. The White House is where I am actually at the moment, which is in the UK. None of these houses I have paid a penny for. I have not paid any rent. I have not paid any bills. I don't pay for my internet connection either. The only things that we pay for is our fuel in our car, um, our insurance, uh, food, of course, and any trips that we take. So my outgoings are extremely low compared to someone that owns their own property with the mortgage and all of the energy bills that's associated with it, all of the insurances that are associated with it. Because the only insurance really I pay for is travel insurance and um, car insurance. Those are really the only two things that I pay for. All right, so house sitting, let's talk about this in a bit more detail. First of all, house owners want their pets left at their home for the comfort of their pets. Now we've looked after cats, dogs, guinea pigs, snakes, not my favorite, snakes. I've actually, I've actually lived on a hobby farm in Byron Bay in Australia and looked after two dogs, one cat, four horses, six cattle, one of which was a bull, um, scary, <laughs> um, oh, peacocks, chickens. We've actually even hatched some chickens, didn't we, Rock, when we were actually staying at one house set? It's interesting. And how long did it take me to take care of those animals? Half an hour in the morning, half an hour at night. The rest of the day was my own. I could go and explore the area. I went up Mount, Mount Tambourine, I think it is, in that area. Had fantastic adventures. House owners also want their houses to be kept secure. They want, their, they want any emergency that comes up taken care of. 
So an emergency that came up for us, and this is very rare, by the way, an emergency that came up for us in one of our house sits is that we were staying in a house sit in France and we suddenly heard this alarm going off and we were thinking, where is that alarm? We were looking around the house, we were looking up at the ceiling, we were thinking it was the smoke alarm. In fact, we had to go all the way down into the basement, into the cellar, and we found out that there was an alarm going off in the cellar. Now, on this particular occasion, we had to get in touch with the owners and say, there's this alarm going off. We don't know what it is. Well, it turned out that it was actually the, uh, what are they, what is it called? The, the sewer pit, the cesspit. Oh, my God. I mean, you can imagine what was going through our minds at the time. Oh, what are we going to have to do with this? Anyway, it turned out that all we had to do was be there on hand to the local handyman who came round. He sorted it out. Now, if we had not have been there, that could have been absolutely terrible for the house owners when they got home. Just use your imagination, I'm not even gonna go there, but it could have been terrible for the home homeowners. So this is what they want from you as a house sitter, is they want you to take care of any emergencies, emergencies with the pets and emergencies with the house. They want their homes well-maintained, while you're away so they might need the garden taken care of a bit of watering a bit of leaf picking up a bit of mowing nothing major now for that in return you get to stay in their beautiful homes for free you don't pay any rent you don't pay any bills you spend time with different pets so if you love animals that's a great thing for you you are able to live with the locals because often the house owners will introduce you to the neighbors and you can explore new and unusual areas. And you're living in a home. You're not living in a hotel, you're living in a beautiful home. So it's a win-win situation. Now there are many, many house sits available all over the world. And again, I will teach you exactly how to apply for those house sits, how to look for those house sits, and whether that is actually for you. Now if house sitting isn't for you, what about working away? You could do those volunteering opportunities where you go and you work um, volunteering to maybe set up a village um, and you would only need to work a couple of hours a day. The rest of the time is your own. You could work on your own business and then you could go out exploring. Now, there's also something actually called work away. And this I'm thinking about you, Prem, with your children. Now, you can actually do something where you go to a venue and you work with the family that owns the land and you might set up an eco-friendly resort or you might become a gardener for them. You know, whatever your skills are, you could provide that service. And most often they provide the food and accommodation for you and they only expect a few day, days of work, uh, uh, sorry, a few hours of work a day. You can take your kids with you and in fact, many of these opportunities that come up they love for you to take the kids with them they love you as an individual so if you are a lone traveler they love you as an individual to come to those places because they want to exchange stories and they want to exchange language opportunities so what a great opportunity for your kids to go somewhere and to basically run around barefoot, having adventures, talking with these other kids. And you know what children are like, they can just slot in so easily. And then it's a great exchange for, it's a great exchange of skills between your kids and their kids and you and the other owners. So there's a great opportunity. You actually end up belonging to a huge community of people that will then say, hey, there's this place that's, that's going up. We were, we were looking at one, it was actually staying at one of these big chateaus in France and you would provide a couple of hours of gardening and also you would help with the wedding arrangements that would happen at the weekends. So those wedding arrangements might be that you'll go and fetch, you know, fetch the furniture or that you might help in the kitchen, you might do some cooking or something like that. And in, in exchange for that, you got everything else paid for. You got your food paid for and you got your accommodation paid for. So there are lots and lots of opportunities. And I just hope that I'm blowing your mind with these opportunities. All right. So Prem, how do you find house sitting? There are many websites. I'm going to share those with you in the membership. Those websites 
you you actually apply for them house sitting is not always ideal with children little children but if you are on your own or a couple then quite often you can that's that said it's not an impossibility so it is possible to do house sits with children there is something else by the way called house swaps so i don't know if any of you have heard of this but you can actually swap your home let's say you want to go to canada you swap your home in you, you swap your home in your home country for someone in say Canada, America, Europe, Australia, wherever that might be, it's a direct exchange. Neither of you pay anything for the accommodation or any of the bills, but you get to do a direct swap. So that's perfect if you've got children. All right, so part four, let's talk about your visas. All right. Now, your visas. Remember, if you've got any questions, I am giving you a lot of information. If you've got any questions, I have got space at the time, but I will answer them as we go along as well. Let's talk visas. So wherever you travel, you must make sure that you've got the correct paperwork. So, of course, make sure that your passport is valid and it's got time on it. Uh, most countries expect six months, some of them a year. Um, that you've got left on your passport in order to travel. Make sure that you've got any of your um, uh, COVID uh, documentation if it's required. And like I said, a little while ago, most of the countries do not require any proof of vaccination or isolation or anything like that now. Um, now, if you were to travel in Europe, most most people traveling from various different countries can go to Europe for three months without the requirement of a visa at all. So you can stay in Europe for a period of 90 days. Now, in Europe, we have we've got split up in Europe countries that are called Schengen countries and countries that are non Schengen countries. Now, for those of you that don't know, basically, it's that a whole group of countries signed an agreement to be part of what's called Schengen. I don't even know what Schengen means. It's something I have to I have to check. And then some of them decided not to uh, buy into this agreement. Basically, you can stay in a Schengen country for a maximum period of 90 days. And you can also stay in non-Schengen for a maximum period of 90 days. So what that basically means is that if you went into Europe, you could do a month in a Schengen country and a month in a non-Schengen country. You could do another month in a Schengen country, another month in non-Schengen, and you could keep swapping over, or you could do three months in Schengen, three months in non-Schengen, which actually means that you get to have a total of 180 days in those countries. After that 180, uh, after that 90 day period, your clock starts again. So you could be in Europe forever in a day. You could actually spend your whole time in Europe as long as you make sure that you qualify for the right amount of days in the Schengen and non-Schengen countries. That's just one interesting fact. Now, here's another interesting fact for you. There are There is something called digital nomad visas. With the fact that we've had the pandemic, there are countries that are desperate for you to go and work in their countries. They want your money. They want you to pay rent. They want you to uh, pay for food. They want you to spend time there. So they are making it super, super easy for you to get visas that go from one year to five years. And it often gives you the opportunity to apply for permanent residency. This actually means that if you go to, let's say, the Azores in Portugal, Portugal are currently offering a one year digital nomad visa. Um, it's actually not called digital nomad. It's called uh, permanent residency. I think it is. Anyway, they offer that visa. And um, if you love Portugal, you decide, actually, I don't want to do this moving around anymore. I'm going to stay so you can apply for a permanent residency. You can have uh, what's called extended fly in and fly out visas. So, for instance, if you go to a country such as Bali, you can go and stay in Bali for 30 days. But when you arrive in Bali, you can actually get an extended visa that goes for 60 days. And then after 60 days, all you've got to do is fly out to somewhere like Singapore, spend the night there and then come back and the counter starts again. So you can start your 30 days or your 60 days again. 
Schengen is a village in Luxembourg. That agreement was signed there. Oh, okay, thanks. Who wrote that? Me. Oh, you wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> Rock wrote that for me. All right, so there's a bit of information. Schengen is a village in Luxembourg and the agreement was signed in that village, hence the name Schengen. So like I say, there are lots of different opportunities available and there are a lot of moving parts. And of course, the most important part of that is preparation is key. Now, whether you are dreaming about working anywhere, you are an adventurer, you want more from life, your mind has suddenly been open to all these possibilities. You may be in a job, you may own a business and can now see that you can make a life where you are doing more of what you love with who you love. It's your willingness to believe in your abilities and to take yourself seriously that you can actually do this. And you can see I've put my most excited face on the screen there because I'm excited for you, really excited. Now it's your turn. How would you prefer to travel? Would you like to be a backpacker and live in hostels? Would you like to have a camper van and have the freedom of the road? Would you like to stay in luxury accommodation? We talk about being an influencer, staying in luxury accommodation, by the way. And we talk more about the house sitting and everything to do with house sitting as well. So Zevda, has, has Turkey got anything? Um, I know that Turkey's borders are now open to all travel but um it's changing all the time and one of the things that i offer in the membership is i keep you up to date with all of the changes um i love portugal as well it's where we're heading next we actually are heading off to croatia in august we've got a house set booked in croatia we are then going into italy for a while and then we go to do a house sit in france for christmas so we're really looking forward to that uh, moving back into europe for a while so I want to talk to you about the top benefits of working any, anywhere. You'll be able to travel the world, of course. You'll have incredible experiences for both you, your family and your children. You'll meet amazing and diverse people. I have met the most incredible people. You'll have legendary stories to tell. I've got loads of stories to tell. I won't bore you with them today, but I have got lots. You'll definitely grow as a person. You'll develop your skills as an entrepreneur. You'll have a taste of true freedom. You'll be able to work to do work that you find truly enjoyable and rewarding. You'll learn to become completely self-reliant. And by the way, I just wanted to tell you something as well. You know that point about being able to work, do work that you find truly enjoyable and rewarding. You know how you see online these days, oh, I earn multi seven figures, multi eight figures. Now that might not be everybody's desire. What might be true for you is that you actually want to earn enough money to, to keep you, um, to sustain you, to actually put some away. And actually living in many of these countries, your costs are going to be much reduced. Accommodation is cheaper, food is cheaper, booze is cheaper, activities are cheaper. You know, go away from the touristy places and you'll find that life is much cheaper in many of these other countries. Okay, you'll learn more about yourself and about what really makes you happy. You'll be joining a huge and growing community of like-minded individuals. So I was looking at some statistics the other day. A lot of the individuals that are digital nomads is are the ages, you've got your 20-year-old backpackers, you've got your 30-plus-year-old um, males that tend to be digital nomads, but you've got this huge influx of 45 to 75 year olds that are now becoming your silver digital nomads. And if I didn't color my hair, it would definitely be silver. I would definitely be amongst one of those having turned 62 days ago as well. So I feel like I'm in my 40s and I'm just raring to go. You'll certainly be a pioneer working in, fa in a fashion that would have been unthinkable even a decade ago. And you'll improve your happiness, your health and your perspective. You can go to one of those happy islands. So I'm going to ask you, what would you stop doing if you knew that you could work anywhere today? So some of the things that I've been told that would be that people would stop doing is paying for a huge mortgage and huge energy bills. What a drain that is these days. Working in a job you absolutely dislike. You'd feel excited about having an adventure. You'd spend more time with your friends and your family and enjoy looking at the bank account because you'd be making that passive income. 
Okay, now I've got another question for you. Would you like me to help you come up with a working away plan, craft your business for passive income and get you to that airport on your first flight off to your first working destination? Now, you've got two options. One option is that you could do exactly what you are doing now, working really hard in your job or spending 12 hours a day on your business, spending two hours a day cooking, cleaning and barely having enough time for yourself or your family because you are burnt out and exhausted. Or option number two, you can 100% commit to making your dreams of traveling and working anywhere a reality now with my proven roadmap. And this is where I invite you and I have your ticket ready with your name on it to join the Digital Nomads Academy. The Digital Nomads Academy is the only online training of its kind that shows you exactly how to grow your business so that you have a sustainable stream of passive income that teaches you how to travel the world and work anywhere on your terms and offers a support community of like-minded individuals making your dreams a reality now. So here's what you will be able to implement. You'll be clear on what you are offering in your business. You'll know where you would like to work in the world, how long you want to go away for, a few weeks, months, or years. And we make all of those dreams a possibility. Like I say, just because I go traveling permanently doesn't mean to say that you have to. Where some of the best places are to live and work in the world, you'll be able to set up and use confidently an automated email marketing system without the fear of technology so that your business can grow. You'll consistently and easily be able to market your business and you'll have a marketing strategy that will be fun and productive. There's a whole lot more as well, but again, I don't want to overwhelm you. This is a membership that we're talking about. It's an academy and it's 12 months working anywhere itinerary which is the value of $2,364. All right, but stay with me because I want to give you a no-brainer option. Seriously, I'm not even saying it. It's a no-brainer option. The types of things that we're going to cover is the benefits and lifestyle and making that shift to being a digital nomad, preparing for a trip of a lifetime, what remote jobs are available if you decide to do your own hours, starting and gr starting or growing your online business which gives you complete control how to get that passive income going from your existing or your new online business i've got practical resources and equipment that you would need as a digital nomad travel necessities for the whole family setting up your international finances four live for free options and for me, it's not backpacking, camping and dumpster diving. I'm too old for that. I do like to stay in luxury. But if backpacking and camping is your thing, that's fine as well. We'll work on that. What visas are available? And um, Sevda, you asked that great question about um, whether Turkey have one at the moment. We'll actually have a look at that. I have all of the information available for you. Taking your safety seriously, of course build and monetize a blog in your niche if that's what you choose to do and how to build and mon monetize your own community for business and also for pleasure. So there's a lot over the 12 months. You will automatically also be included in the DigiHub community. This I think is really, really important. So give me a yes in chat if this is something that is for you. Now, of course, there are some bonuses. And the first bonus I want to talk about is that there will be weekly live Q&A sessions inside the private membership. Now, <clears throat> at the moment, the membership, the, the community part of it is on Facebook. I am currently building an off social media community. That is a value of $1,997. I'll be there every single week to answer your questions, even if I'm on the road. Bonus number two is you automatically get 30 day social content planner with quick wins to fill in your content if you're already in business. And of course, if you're not, that's there for you when you're ready. We get a 90 day plan for profits workshop. The total value of that is $4,855. Now, this is it. I, I want to make this no brainer. 
So it's a value of 4,855. It's actually only $47 a month. That's all. I want to make this possible for you. I want to make this dream a reality for you. And I'm going to answer your questions in a second. So it's easy to get started today. You can do it in a couple of different ways. You can do the 12 monthly payments of $47. So just pay month on month on month. That gives you that gives you the 12 months and it gives you access to the DigiHub as well. You can pay that in full, in which case you'll be saving yourself two months worth of membership. Or you can upgrade to the VIP membership at $94 a month. And I know that some of you are already in it, so it's great that you're already there. To get started, all you have to do is go to this link, sunnyloveacademy.com, DNA. So that stands for Digital Nomad Academy Membership. All right, now I do have a huge guarantee. I am making it so easy. I don't want to do any fancy schmancy 40 days, 30 days guarantee. No, there's no risk. You can cancel any time. Literally cancel any time. Now I've got a special bonus when you do pay in full because you do get that two months discount. And there is a fast action bonus. You take action today, right now, until the end of this webinar, you will get a 15 minute business review with me personally. So here's the details, 12 month payment at four, 12 months at $47 a month. Really, really doable. Um, you can pay in full $470 or you can upgrade to VIP. So let's just quickly talk about what you get in the VIP. So in addition to the Digital Nomads Academy, in addition to the DigiHub community, you also get a once a month brainstorming session together. So that's brainstorming your business. All right. So as a as a group, we actually brainstorm. We bring each of our expertise in there. So whether you're starting or whether you've already got an existing business, we brainstorm where you're at and how we can develop that. You also get a once a month hot seat session. So that's an analysis of where you are right now. And you also get access to my private WhatsApp for support. So when if you need support or you've got that ad hoc question that you want to ask, you just send me a, a, a text message and I'll be able to reply to that within 24 hours. That, by the way, is the best way of getting in touch with me because those damn messages on Facebook, they just disappear in the abyss of Facebook Messenger. So a quick review of the details. Um, this is what would happen when you click on that link. Did you put that link in for me? Wonderful. All right. Now, once you actually sign up, you'll go and you'll choose whatever you want. You'll receive a confirmation email from the training portal together with your login details. And almost immediately, you will receive another email from me with the subject line, please check spam. And that, that will be, the, the subject will be Digital Nomads Academy. Now, the, the nice thing about this is that what we're going to do is, this is a brand new membership. I've already got members in it. They were our founding members, brand new membership. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be switching you all on at the same time. So that will actually be next Monday, you all get switched on, all right? So the first thing that will happen is when you get that email from me, you will actually get some things to do straight away. One of which is to answer a questionnaire. The other of which is to actually join the Facebook community. And I'm not sure if I've put the details in of the new community yet, but I'll, I'll let you know when that happens. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one get together. We're gonna get you all on Zoom and we're gonna have a get together. And we're just gonna talk about what your dreams are, where you wanna go, what your questions are, that sort of thing. All right. So. There it is again, get started today. And you might have some doubts, I know that. This is Karen, she's actually been working um, with me. She's actually just one of my students on a different course. And basically I talk her language. I've been doing this for nine years, traveling, and I've been in business for 32 years. You're in safe hands. Michelle, yes, you're in, great. Sevda, yes, Ruth. Hi, Sa Hi, Ruth. Oh, I know. I know who you are. Lovely to see you. All right. So I'm going to come onto the screen and I'm going to answer your questions. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I can see you all. All right. So let's see. 
All right, Michelle, you're in. Sevda, woohoo, yes, you're you're already in anyway, Sevda. Michelle, great. Ruth, lovely to see you from Spain. All right, so Rox actually written the questions down for me. Michelle, what do you do between house sits? Great question. All right, so because I've been house sitting for such a long time, it's actually very rare that there's a kind of an in-betweeny phase. But when there is, we actually book into really nice hotels because, of course, we've got no other expenses. So we can afford to then go into a lovely luxury hotel. So that's one of the things that we do. Another thing that we do is that we've actually got friends dotted around all over the place. We've got friends in France. We've got friends in Italy. We've got friends in Bali. We've got friends in Australia. So if we found ourselves in any of those countries, we can actually go and stop with those if we if we chose to. There's also, of course, Airbnb. We we look at booking Airbnb or we might decide, you know what, we fancy one of those work away situations. Let's go and work on on. Um, so so there was a, a lady in Italy and she's setting up a retreat. And so she was setting up a yoga shala. She was setting up uh, like spa rooms, that sort of thing. Going along there, volunteering your services. So it could be carpentry, it could be just cleaning up, it might be cooking, it might be building, it might be laying out the, the yoga shala, anything like that. You know, it, it might even be your social media skills. You can offer those skills to actually advertise someone's venue. There's all sorts of jobs that you can do. All right, Renate, how do you deal with healthcare abroad? Oh. That's a good question. That is a good question. Do you know what? I am super healthy. And um, let's think. Dealing with healthcare abroad. The most important thing right now is to have healthcare insurance. And in fact, a requirement of most countries are that you do actually have good healthcare insurance. So if it's for your regular, your regular kind of uh, checkups and that sort of thing, then you can actually go to local doctors and get that sorted out. If it's regular medication that you need, there's two ways that I do that. Um, one is that I have my medication sent, and when I talk about medication, I'm on HRT. I'm not on anything else. All right, I can I get that sent to wherever I am abroad. Um, a lot of companies, if you buy things like supplements, a lot of companies can deliver in most countries around the world anyway. Um, if you have to have regular, uh, regular healthcare issues, then it might be that you just have to organize your timing so that you can get back to your home country for those times. So you might be one of those travelers that does three months in one country and three months in another. So I hope that's answered your question, Renate. You can ask any other questions that you want. Michelle, oh, well, happy day, happy day. Um, give up dreary winters. Yes, yes, Kim, for sure. Michelle, yes, please. I'm so glad that you're joining me. I am so happy that you are actually joining me. And then what I'll do is I'll also be in touch with the um, with my diary to give you a 15-minute um, a 15 minute consultation on where you're at at the moment with your dreams and where you're at with your business. I think I'll look at how sit for this winter to escape the cold. Good idea. Good idea. What I'll do on the, um, on the membership, Renata, what we'll do is I will actually teach you the best sites to use and what to look out for, because of course you are as a house sitter, you want to go to somewhere that's really nice. And you also want to actually look after pets that you would like to look after. So if you're not a dog person and you might be a cat lady, then you only want to look at um, cat house sits. And if you are not a snake person, then you definitely don't want to be looking after snakes. I was lucky I had Rock when we did the house sit with snakes. He took care of the snake issue. He is from Australia, so <laughs> that was good. Um Horses is another thing that I've looked after. So, and also we actually look at writing a profile. I I can tell you right now, every day we get asked to do a house sit somewhere. Every single day between one to three asks. That's because 
we have an excellent profile, we have excellent reviews, and we have excellent references. This is something I teach you about as well on the membership. Now, in the DigiHub, by the way, I didn't really talk about this too much. You've got access to the private members group, um, and we've got the live Q&A. Also, if you're in business, or if you're thinking about going into business, we have what we call a power up session. And for those of you that are in my free group, you'll know that I do this on a regular basis. But what I'm doing is I'm going to transfer it over to just the VIP group. You are my VIPs. So I'm transferring it there so that we get to actually work on something together. And it's not going to be one of those sort of boring, dull, um, you know, power power sessions. This is where I give you instructions of what you need to do next to move your business forward. Um, you'll also always have front, e front seat access to the Business Booster trainings that I put on as well. Oh, and something I didn't tell you about, actually, I forgot about this. You can earn points to get free months of membership. So if you actually go and recommend anyone to join the membership, then you can actually um, get points, which gives you free months of membership. And there's plenty of opportunity to meet up, share stories, exchange ideas, and gain support and help whilst you're traveling as well. Because I have this dream. I have, I, honestly, I have this huge dream that we create this amazing community of individuals that want to live a different alternative lifestyle that gives them true freedom, freedom from the constraints of what we think we ought to be like to, to actually doing what we love to do, which is most of us, you know, I ask the question, if you could do anything right now, our money was no object, what would it be? And people say travel more, travel more. All right. Is this membership only open once a year? Good question, Kim. Basically, it's a yearly membership. Um, I will be putting it on Evergreen. People can join whenever they like. But for this first six months, it will be um, it's only open right now. OK, I'm really excited to get started, Michelle. I'm excited. I'm excited to I'm excited to get to know you. I'm so happy that you're joining. All right. So let I've got some questions here. All right. All right. So so one of the questions that was asked uh, once before is I'm curious what got you started as a digital nomad. And I was fortunate enough to come across a lady who told me all about this thing called house sitting, which I'd never heard of. And she offered me the opportunity of taking one of her houses. I can't even tell you. I stayed in this accommodation. It was a beautiful Australian, typical Australian house. It was all marble inside. The, the worktops were all marble. Flash bedroom with glass out the front overlooking Sydney Harbour. Oh, my God. I was in luxury. I was there for two months. And then I went on to another house sit which was again right next to Sydney Harbour. I was looking after five dogs. Or oh, actually the first time I did that one, two dogs, two golden retrievers who actually went on to be, uh, one of them went to be the gun dog champion of Australia in that particular year. I think it was probably 2016, 17, something like that. And what came out of it in the end is I traveled my way up to Noosa, which is um, in Queensland. I actually ended up meeting Rock who I've been with now for three and a half years. He is the nicest person you could ever meet. He's sitting right next to me. He's the nicest person you could ever meet. He supports me 100% and he loves to travel. And we just giggle our way around the world. And that's the life I want for you guys as well. That life's supposed to be full of joy and happiness. Okay. When I become a digital nomad, do I have to sell everything I own? No, definitely not. I've already talked about that. You don't have to sell everything you own. We do actually have some stuff in storage, not a lot, mind you. And now that the people that were looking after it have moved, we don't know what we've got left. But we're not attached. We're just not attached to that. All right, let's see. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed by everything that I will have to learn and execute before I can start my travels. Are you sure I can do this? Valid, valid question. It's so valid. Yes, of course you can do this. I've designed the membership in such a way that it drips out information to you so that you don't have it all. But there will be a stage that you can actually gain access to the bits that you need to gain access to. And for the lifetime of your membership, so as long as you're in the membership, you get access to everything. And of course, if you do go into the VIP, you get extra access to me. That said, I do, I do actually give you lots of access. 
Will I need to invest in other trainings to create my lifestyle of freedom and choice? No, no, you won't, unless it's something that is totally outside of my realms of expertise. Um, so we don't, none of us know what's around the corner and we don't know what might come up for you. So I can't say for sure that you won't have to invest anymore. It depends on, you know, it depends on where you're going. And I just want to be honest with you. Do I need existing technical skills? All right, this is a good one for you, Prem. No, you don't need to have existing technical skills. If you feel that you are a bit technically challenged, don't worry, I've got your back on this. I've been teaching people how to use IT and all those technical aspects for over 30 years. I've totally got your back on it. Honestly, I've had people in my classrooms that have been in tears because they're too frightened to touch a button and they're too frightened because they might lose their jobs. I actually got them to a place where the tears went. They were feeling, oh, I can do this. It's dead easy. Things are a lot easier than you think they are. And often it's fear that stops you from clicking on that all important special button. All right. Will you cover what visas are av available for digital nomad? Yes, we'll keep our finger on the pulse. I've, we've got a document that provides you with the updated information right now as it stands. As we get new information through, we'll always update that and it will be done as an, an announcement as well so that everybody's aware in the group. I don't have a business at the moment. Is this membership suitable for me? Absolutely. We do look at the foundations. And in fact, the foundations are good for those of you that are in business as well, is that you can actually join um, and make sure that you do have your foundations and your systems in place. All right, let's actually see. <clears throat> do we talk about taxes? Oh, Renata, absolutely super question. Okay, I am not a financial expert and I am not a tax advisor. I can only give you advice. No, I cannot give you any advice. I can only give you information. So for instance, on a digital nomad visa, you are taxed in your home country. You are not taxed in the country that you have that digital nomad visa, except in the case of Italy. So Italy have just announced a new digital nomad visa and they expect a 20% tax from you. Most countries, what they do is they actually say to you that you have to have an income threshold of X amount, and it could be like a monthly amount or a savings amount of, of X so that they know that you can take care of yourself um, financially and that you have a, um, a health insurance as well. Um, so as far as tax is concerned, I'll point you in the right direction, but please don't take any of uh, any of what I say as true advice. It's research that you have to do yourself. I will. What I will do though is I will bring guests on from time to time that can talk to these types of things as well. All right, Prem. I don't know what to sell. Nothing I am passionate about. Don't worry about that. We've got you covered, Prem. There are a lot of different ideas, and it might be that you don't sell anything at all. Um, what you do is you actually work remotely for other people. So we're just gonna we're just gonna dive into your skills. That's all. All right. And will Sunny be available and accessible to answer questions if I get stuck? Yes. In the group, you can always put up your questions, and when I see them, I will always address those questions. And on the weekly Q and A, I will answer your questions. And if you're in the VIP, then you've actually got access to my WhatsApp. So that is available for you. All right. So have you put, could you put the link in again, please, Rock? Um, for those of you that haven't actually done that yet and you can't find your link. Actually, I'll just copy and paste this one. Um, if I can. No, you're, could you do it for us, please, darling? That will be wonderful. Do you know what? It's been so lovely to spend time with you. What I, what I would say to you as well is that if you do know of anybody that would actually benefit from being on this, this masterclass, I am running it again next week on the 20, uh, 21st of June, and I'm doing it at 8 o'clock at night. So that's probably more suitable for the UK and for the US. That's 8 o'clock UK time. If you know of anybody that needs to hear this, then please pass this information on. 
Thank you, Rock. Thank you. That's the link. Link Prem. The timings when you do the group meetings evenings are times timings when I work. Would you always do the mornings? Right. I vary it. Um, so I will actually be going live um, on the Q and A sometimes in the mornings and sometimes in the evenings. So you work in the group meetings in the evenings are times when I work. Yeah, it'll be it'll be during the day and it will be in the evenings. I d I. I actually don't tend to do a lot in the evenings because quite honestly, I like my evenings to myself and um, I like to just rest and relax. Um, so most of the time it'd be in the mornings. But the nice thing is, oh, just to mention to you all, any Q&As will be recorded and they will be stored in your membership as well under the date. And I'll usually put a kind of a bit of a subject or I'll give you an agenda of the types of questions that were asked. So that will be every week. The recordings will be there. It'll be in the community area and it will also be in your training portal as well. OK. All right. So if you're still thinking about it, remember, just give it a shot. You can cancel at any time. Just come in, try, spend some time with us, find out what it's all about. Um, so. Um, I think that's it. I don't think I've got any more questions. This has been Ace. Thank you so much. Oh, Michelle, love you, love you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I can't wait to really get to know all of you. And I'll do that soon. Vicky, great. Thank you, my darling. Thank you. Prem, great. Thank you. It's been lovely to spend time with you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for participating. Thank you for listening. To, to me and my stories. I'll share a load more with you as well. I'm going to be like that old biddy in a rocking chair telling you loads of different stories, but then you'll be able to tell your own soon as well. Thanks. I love this. And you, Sevda, I love you too. Kim, thank you, Sunny. I'll be seeing you next Monday. I'll be seeing you because I'll be doing a thing next Monday for you guys. All right then. Okay. It's been super have a lovely day and I will see you all in the membership. All right. See you soon.